We've been covering the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament daily with live updates, but today we're deciding to throw it back to learn more about this tournament's history. And on your side, Abigail Velez joins us now live here at Big Rock Landing, ready to take a trip down memory lane. Yep, I'm ready, Ken. Now I've learned so much today, but 65 years, that's how long this tournament has been going on for. What started with just a couple hundred boats, there's now even more. Now I spoke with people today who remember it back when it was just a friendly competition with just a couple of friends. Take a look. I'm quite sure that the people who founded the Marlin Tournament uh, could not imagine how big it's gotten today. D. Lewis is a trustee at the Moorhead City History Museum. He has family ties with the tournament. The Marlin Tournament, Marlin Festival, was started about 1957 by uh, my great uncle, uh, Captain George Besworth. Lewis works in the library of the museum and now he's an expert in the history of the Big Rock Tournament. He says Marlin are exciting fish to catch because they are feisty. People were interested in catching fish that they could eat. Mar Marlin just later became part of the sport. It just catch them for the, for the thrill of just the thrill of the fight. They're as you know, they're huge fish and put up a terrific fight. Linda Cornwall says her father, known as Bump, was one of the founders of the tournament. Although he's passed, she says his legacy lives on. Well, we grew up down there to begin with when my father worked there. And uh, so, I mean, before we were I was born, he was working there. And eventually he bought it. All the good that it does, you know, so, but uh, it's come a long, long, long way. Big Rock administration says it's changed a lot from the 60s, but it's changed for the better. All those big changes have made a big difference in the way that we were, have been able to donate money to charity. As you know, for us, the tournament has always been very successful and really the heartbeat of the summer for Carteret County. I mean, the tournament obviously means a great deal to people, and everyone I spoke with today says one thing about it, it's remained consistent with the mission, charity first. I mean, Ken, it's a great event with an yeah. even better purpose. No doubt about it. It's a great day to be outside, to wear some hats, soak in some sunshine, and enjoy, as you mentioned, a good thing for this community. You're right, Ken. I have to say you look great in it. You do as well. <laughs> you should be able to wear hats more often here on TV. Abigail, thank you. You can always stay up to date when it comes to the Big Rock Tournament by going to our website. There you can find the blog with all the information, including tournament leaders. And even updates for our team of reporters here at Big Rock Landing. You can check it all out at WNTT.com.